it's Brandy here today. I am super excited to do an unboxing of the April Scrap Shot Scrapbooking Kit. Uh, say that 10 times fast with my with my bit of a lisp. Um, uh, this month's kit, so again for April, for the Scrap Shots, it is all about um, the Happiness Collection from Coco Vanilla. And this collection, as you can already see, is nothing but gorgeous, beautiful color watercolor infused just it's fabulous pinks navies pops of black like just absolutely fabulous so i'm here today to do you uh do an unboxing for you so here's a picture of my kit i will link to the kit below as well as all of the add-ons um sandy over at scrap shots is always super sweet and throws in a couple of add-on items over and above the the monthly kit so i might have a few extra treats here but definitely want to make sure i show you those too um i'm fully uh okay with being an enabler for add-ons for the kit um especially after you get a chance to see them. So here we go. So I'll walk you through a few things first and before I get to the paper. So included in the kit is the journal um, foam letter stickers from Thickers. So these are a lot like journal, like they remind me of typeset. Love them. They sit quite nicely together. You can see that they would nestle, which I like that a lot. And they include numbers, which some is getting to be more and more rare. So I'm really happy about that piece. So there we go. That's the Thickers. Also included is uh, one piece of the, this is the Vicki Booten's American Crafts. This is her latest, I believe the font and um, the phrases that come with the Kaleidoscope collection. So so a really good fit as you can see why Sandy included those they have just matched really really well and they're super fun so love that and these are like um, epoxy I think is what I want to call them really excited love that one so that'll be good um, also included is the Nouveau crystal drops add dimension details to your craft projects I'll full disclosure absolutely love the bottle. I have not played with these yet. I've seen lots of them being played on with YouTube, I've seen lots of um, stuff pop up on a bunch of online blogs and stuff, but I haven't had a chance to play. So I'm super excited for the chance. And again, I think they'll just go super well with this collection. So well played scrap shot. So that'll be fun. So we'll see what I can do with those. Stay tuned. Also included is some rub-ons and I, oh, clear stickers, not rub-ons. My bad, my bad. So this is Happiness Coco Vanilla. This is the clear stickers. And it looks like there is two packs in here or two pages. Two of eight. Yeah. And look, these are just like watercolor, just brush paint strokes. Just absolutely fabulous. I love the little plus signs. Those are so easy to use and just pop anywhere. And lots of little baby ones, which I like for just like tucking into little places. So this will be really, really fun and just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous good also included oh, is some flare pieces from the happiness cocoa vanilla collection and I just love these I absolutely get nothing but good vibes from this collection just the font alone is just magic so excited about that also included are these um, 28 pieces so these are die cut titles I just pop this onto one of these guys here and show you how gorgeous these are sorry about the crinkling so again there's 28 pieces in here and just to kind of give you an example of a few wow there's a lot of them oh and they're like good thick cardstock to be honest easy to add dimension to the page so some of the pieces that are in here happiness beautiful uh, happy unique uh, vibes good vibes life is love best sweet so really usable and it looks like you can make some awesome combinations of the words and again there are good solid extra thick card stocks so I think they'd be really great as a title and even to pop up on foam dots I think they would hold their kind of hold their shape really really nicely so those are great also included are these sorry get the right here are these 58 pieces. Wow, no wonder this is heavy. Uh, 58 pieces of the um, uh, die cut ephemera. So again, you can see kind of all the pieces there. And I believe these are going to be of that same, yep, quality, thick, really thick cardstock. Like I'm giving that a good bend. So that's quite fabulous. Those are so easy to pop up. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous, you guys. So a few more words, some great little banner guys. Come on, look at the tassel. That's good stuff. Oh, and there's some more tassels. Some frames are in there. That's fabulous. And you can kind of see the color scheme there. The watercolor flowers like are just to die for. So you can kind of see what everything that's in there. Look at that. So that's great. I think that's beautiful. I love that there's some tickets in there, a couple of butterflies, three butterflies. That's gonna be wonderful. So that's really fun. Then also included in the kit are some little bits and bobs. I love a little baggie, a little baggie of fun. So this looks like some wood veneer and some um, blossom. So that's really great. If I can get them out of the bag, this is part of the trick. 
And I haven't looked through any of these yet. I just literally put them on my desk. So I'm really excited to see. So you can see there's these tiny little pink uh, blossoms and they're like a crepey kind of paper, tissue paper with a pearl. And those are gonna go really nice. There's two, two, two colors of pink there. So that's really exciting. I'm just gonna pop them in here to live with your little friends. And then, oops, a bunch of wood veneer. So great, a little post-it paintbrush with um, authentic, I think. Yep, perfect. Oh, I love the crown. Oh, I'm a queen bee, so that's gonna be really good. Uh, dove, butterfly, awesome. Bee, bee bold, that's great. Oh, I love the little painters. I'm sure that has a name, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and be unique, that's great. Those are gonna go really well. Just the wood veneer with those bright colors, I think they're gonna pop beautifully. That's fabulous. Put those little guys aside. And then of course, uh, last but not least, is the paper that comes with the Scrap Shots kit. And so again, lots of cocoa vanilla, but first what I'll do is I'm gonna run through the cardstock that comes with the kit, and then I'll kind of make a base as I go through it so we can see. So I'm gonna keep this piece out so that we can see how well things are matched. There's two pieces of this guy, which is the Whirlpool from Basil Basics. Is it Basil or Basil? I don't know, it's Basil today good and then we've also got two pieces of this awesome yellow look at that just pop off of there which one is this desert marigold well hello desert marigold that's gorgeous oh also our two pieces of the raven i'm assuming yeah raven basil basil basics basil basil basics and i just love a nice dark on a bright it just really anchors everything like look at this gorgeous combo i think that's going to be really great to pop out in places and then as well there's two pieces of this guy which is shabless shabless a flower maybe i don't i don't know that word but i like the color of the pink and again that's about as perfect a match as you can get so that's quite fabulous too so two pieces of those there and then also included is wait for it oh this very specialty teal fabulousness glitter cardstock um, sky blue this is called and just look at that like hello that's gonna look so good popping out be behind some things I can see myself cut file maybe this oh my gosh can you imagine die cuts that's gonna be really good so hopefully that's not blinding you because I'm leaving it on top because it makes me the happiness now let's get into the pattern paper this guy you've seen a couple of times this is again cocoa vanilla happiness and this is the meadow oh my gosh look at that you guys I love that that is fabulous Oh, right on. Here's some butterflies. So Cocoa Vanilla Happiness. And oh, a nice wood grain. Bright and beautiful. I see myself fussy cutting these butterflies and popping them up. I love that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Or maybe some gesso so that they're kind of faded out in the middle. Anyway, all right, we'll get to it. Um, then we've also got, oh, look at this guy. If you love mixed media, but like are a bit intimidated because I could never create this. The Missy Woodens of the world maybe can, but... I could not. This is the one for you. This is fabulous. So again, Cocoa Vanilla Happiness, and this is expressive. Oh, and I love that backside. So simple and great. And that's either X's or crosses or whatever you want to make it to be. Kisses all over or, or whatever. So here's a good cut apart. Um, really great sayings. You are my happy. These just match so fabulously. I love this one. I could see myself fussy cutting this as well. I don't know what's called fussy cutting, but maybe because I can sit in front of the couch. Um, this is called Little Things, and there is, might not come through, but it does kind of go from a teal to a green back into like a teal color. Um, it really quite a muted change in green right here, but it gives it good, good dimension. It doesn't just look like lines. So that's fabulous. Oh my goodness, look at this one. <gasps> Picture here, pop up some other ones, give it some dimension. Oh, I love that. It's just so beautiful. I have some wedding photos that might be good in black and white on that guy. And then here's so fresh. Um, that's adorbs. That's gotta happen. Oh, I hate when the A and B side are both great. Oh, stay tuned on that one. That's gorgeous. Oh, another cut apart. Oh, this is great. So portrait, portrait. Hello. Polaroid cut aparts, which you could leave as is, totally grid this up, use this as is, put some gesso on, or you could even just cut these apart and have an awesome, like, cool hanging Polaroid idea on the page. Love that. It's called Frame of Mind. <laughs> and this is um, kind of a geometric pattern, but again, it's got that kind of teal into blue ombre, ombre, however you say that word. Wow, I'm doing really great today. Kind of look. So that's wonderful. So it goes to quite light 
and into an, a light teal there. So that probably comes a little clearer when it's lower. This is the pattern paper I have been just like drooling over as I'm watching people's Instagram accounts. So I'm trying to remember who it was, but she put, she did it back to cut file in it and then backed it on it again. Like it was just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. So again, happiness. And this is the good vibes. Oh, but I love this color. This is like my signature color. I have it in my hair. Oh yeah. Oh, but still, cause why wouldn't you? All right. Oh, how fun is this? So in addition to it having these little polka dots, and I don't know if it comes through, the white background actually has like a quilted, not a texture to it because it's flat, but it looks like it's got like a quilt to it. Very cool. Oh, and that's awesome too. This is called Sprinkles. Really pretty. And it's got kind of little baby little sketchies in there with a white pen. This is just, wow. That's just screaming to be fussy cut, in my opinion or gesso oh anyway yeah that's gonna be good oh but look at this that's great botanical bliss both of those are fabulous just and so so different that's just absolutely great so that is there I will stop drooling and end this video and get to creating and then showing you more stuff so this is me this is the scrap shots kit for April I will put all the links below to all the good stuff, the kit, as well as any of the add-on pieces that Sandy always graciously makes available for us to order, um, and just super fun. I'm really excited to play. Um, so you can catch what I play with on the Scrap Shots blog, on the Scrap Shots Instagram, as well as on my own um, world, Brandy Davison on Instagram, as well the Scrap Storian blog. I'm part of a trio, myself, my sister, and our sister in scrapbooking, Run Scrap Storian just as a fun blog to share and our Instagram account. So that's me. That's April. I am off to play. Thanks so much. Have a good one.